Yeah, it's top of the moment to you, anywhere where they watch us from. Now, Saturday, and as we Saturday, you know, today Saturday stand for now. Now, we take discuss anything we get to do with Earth yeah. Matter. And I'll go get Dr. Day, yeah. We sabi where we as far as Earth Day concerned. They talk about Dr. Bartholomew Ofebola. Now, maybe the CEO, now, maybe the Ogao, as far as Grace Valley Medical Center, they concerned. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief. Feels good to have you again. I'm happy to be back, sir. Slimmers. Good morning. Good morning. Doctor. Yeah, good to, good to be with you once more. Yeah. Happy New Moons to our viewers at home and around the world. Good morning. We are back today on Health Matter. Today we'll be looking at a topic we started last week. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Now, a lot have been said about this new strain of virus that is currently ravaging the world. Just uh, about a few days ago, specifically on Thursday, the WHO declared a global emergency yeah. on account of the outbreak mm -hmm. of this new virus. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that were first identified in the 1960s, just like the Lassa fever we have in Nigeria and some other West African countries. Now, but this set of viruses, usually they cause from mild to severe disease. Most of them usually affect animals, okay? In the last couple of decades, we have seen some severe cases of coronaviruses affecting humans and a type of zoonotic disease. Zoonosis means diseases that Indeed. humans can pick from animals. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a few examples that we may have heard of. You remember SARS that we saw that emanated in China in, yeah, the, year, in the year, yes, years ago, 2002 and 2003. Mm -hmm. It was from civet cats. Okay? After that, of course, we know how it ravaged several countries of the world. In 2012, we equally saw another very severe form of coronavirus, talking about Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, mass coronavirus, it emanated from Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And of course, it killed many. Just towards the end of last year, the world came across a coronavirus, a strain of coronavirus that has not been previously identified in humans and it was termed NCOV, new 2019 NCOV, 2019 new coronavirus. And that is what we are talking about today. As we speak, nearly 12,000 people have been confirmed across the globe to have this, and majority of them are in China. And it has caused 259 deaths till date. And currently, 27 countries of the world have confirmed cases, have confirmed cases of coronaviruses. So this morning, we'll be looking at the, the, the diffusion of uh, coronavirus, what is it all about? The symptoms, signs and symptoms of coronavirus, the transmission, transmissibility of this new disease. I, I must also acknowledge at this point that a whole lot has still been discovered. Mm. The information we had last week have been updated yeah. to what we have at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that it's, it's scary, mm -hmm. okay? But we shouldn't do what? We shouldn't panic. What we should do is to put things in place. We should, we should be proactive, okay, Dr. as a country, as a it, people. Why is it spreading this fast? Like, I remember Chief and I, we still talked about this money. Last week when we had the statistics, it was, it's statistics. Uh, it was just, uh, I think we did six, six yes, countries. 41. 41. Okay, 41. Uh, 41. Oh. And uh, as of 40, yesterday, mm, I heard uh, they already have a case in UK, Botswana. Yes. No, 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 no case uh, uh, in African sub-region at the moment, but there are, Two cases were reported in the U.S. In the UK. 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 The UK. Okay, about seven cases. In, we'll, we'll read out some of the countries of the oh, world that are currently see. being affected. Oh, okay, so I have an updated mm. list as of this morning. Okay, so just because you ask this question, I may take you. Uh, no, 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 you're not. Okay, your so uh, no, 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 no. So China, of course, 
we do know that this virus emanated, the coronavirus emanated from a seafood market. Oh, yeah. Wuhan. 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 <laughs> a seafood Wuhan. market. Okay. We also read that that, that that seafood market was dealing illegally in livestock as well. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was not just a seafood market. That was where the, uh, the first cases, the epicenter of the coronavirus uh, 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 illness started from. And just like what she pointed out, why is this spreading so mm -hmm. fast? Just in China alone, about 2,100 cases were mm -hmm. recorded in the last 24 hours. Hey? Wow. So it's spreading Jesus. like a what? wildfire. Is it that, that they did not give us the hmm. true statistics at the very beginning when the disease started hmm. to what we now know? And that is why everybody is concerned. Hmm. Nations of the world are taking precautionary like measures, measures to ensure yeah. that, their, that their borders are protected. For instance, American government have actually gone to evacuate their citizens from Wuhan about 200 people who were uh, evacuated from Wuhan were taken to a special center where they have to be put on mandatory quarantine mm. for at least a period of 14 days. Mm. Because it is believed that this coronavirus has an incubation period mm. of between 10 to 14 days. Mm. As a matter of fact, there was a government proclamation from U.S. government concerning the mandatory quarantine for any of them. The, the, the last time uh, U.S. issued such was about 50 years ago. So countries are taking measures. A lot of uh, uh, airlines, too, have actually suspended flights to mainland China. Okay? Of course, Chinese government are currently doing so much mm -hmm. because uh, they have the epicenter of this coronavirus uh, virus that we're talking about today in that they've, uh, they've been able to put the city in a lockdown, mm. okay, the city of Wuhan. Wuhan. Now, <laughs> currently, all the provinces in China are said to have been affected by this disease. Mm. And we cannot tell where it's going to get to because a lot have not been known about this disease. Contrary to the information that's, uh, that we were given out last week, people can actually transmit the disease even when they do not manifest any symptoms. Mm. Okay, so that was what brought about the case, uh, uh, the, uh, the cases we saw in Germany, okay? A little bit of the story surrounding the cases we saw in Germany, okay? The, the, the news has it that a woman who was living in Shanghai had her parents visiting her from Wuhan. Mm -hmm. And at the time the parents visited that, they probably didn't have symptoms mm. when they were with her. She, ha she had a, an, a, a workshop to attend in Germany, so she traveled all the way from Shanghai to Germany to attend the workshop. And of course, about the business executive that, that, that ate with her in the same environment, interacted with her, she went back still without any symptoms. It was a few days after that she equally presented with symptoms, and of course, it was confirmed that she had it. And those people, about four of them that had contact with her in Germany also uh, were confirmed to have the disease. So currently in Germany, they, there are about seven cases in Germany. Yeah, so we don't hear yeah, yeah, more than even enough from with certified doctor. Man, we don't do research. Where, where, until Corona so virus? So you're so, you so, on uh, so loaded. Yes. Well, it don't make us realize. Say for now, say we're still safe in this part of the world, but notwithstanding, nobody say make we lose. God, I go live and make him pick from where he stopped. That is the German uh, yep, thing. Yep, yep. Yes, of, of course, that was how the uh, coronavirus got to Germany. Now, the surprising aspect is it becomes difficult. Now, some of the measures that countries are put in place is to use a non-contact thermometer in ports of entries in airports and some other places. Mm. Okay? Now, but that will not suffice anymore because people can actually go through such check checks mm. and not be discovered that they have this mm. infection. And then when they have gone into such a city, mm. of course, coming in contact with people, they may end up picking the infection. So it mm. becomes difficult and it becomes very worrisome mm. because you can't pick out people who have the infection anymore on mm. the basis of the symptoms. symptoms mm. yeah. Okay, so As what that means is that somebody can be asymptomatic mm. without any form of symptom and yet can pass this infection onto people ah. around the person. So a lot are still very much unknown. A whole lot of effort is uh, ongoing at, the, at this moment to try to contain this 
monster of a disease. Very monster <laughs> very disease. That I, saw the, I saw the video, Dr. Bart, yes. and the way people drop yes, down. Uh, it's scary. It's, yeah, it's I don't scary. know if you've seen any of yes, those. Yes, I, I, I see just, them. I just see go them. down. Yeah. Bah, like a log of wood and it's scary, it's all. scary, it's scary. It's so scary. But we don't need to panic. That's why we are here today. To uh Simple tell us time. what we need to do to sensitize us, to create public awareness, mm -hmm. okay, to, to scale up the uh, uh the education, okay. People need to know about this disease. Now, the information that are available to us, some of the symptoms that are available to us, are the symptoms that we have seen in similar coronaviruses. I've mentioned two of them. The first that we saw was sometime in 2002-2003, SARS, if you can remember that, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, Syndrome. which of course I said emanated from China, mm -hmm. and it was also from Animal Kingdom, yeah. if I can use the word of Honorable Yo. Commissioner of Health for Lagos State. Mm -hmm. So it came from Animal Kingdom, okay, from civet cats, okay. Now the second one is a similar to, uh, uh, to the new coronavirus is what we refer to as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, Middle coronavirus, East. which of course I said they emanated from Saudi Arabia, from Arabian camel, Peninsula. From the yes, from the camel. The type of camel is said to be Somali camel. The, the one camel, with back. Yes, the one that mm. has a hump, just a single hump at the back. Cute. Okay. Now, since then, these two severe forms of coronaviruses have been known to be causing diseases in man. But SARS, we have not seen any case of SARS in recent time, okay. but that of MERS is still being, uh, is still causing diseases in man as well. Okay, so coronaviruses, just like we said at the beginning, can cause mild, just mild symptoms to very severe symptoms. And I said coronaviruses affect not just human, but predominantly animals. But this new one that we are talking about today has not been previously identified in human. And that is why everything about it is still very strange and scary. Okay, so what you need to do, number one, you must ensure that anybody, any of your, anybody at all that is presenting for we clinicians, doctors, healthcare practitioners, we ought to have a high index of suspicion. Now, top what should be top on your mind when you're clicking a patient this day because of an uh, ongoing uh, outbreak should be the person's travel history. We do know that a lot of our people tra usually travel to China. Yeah, it is a fact. To okay? do business. It is a fact to do business. So if, if someone is presenting, it doesn't have to be a white. Just mm. ask the person, did you travel recently? Mm. Okay? It, it's, of course, we know that now people who who, who are, are asymptomatic and actually uh, uh, transmit the disease yeah. to others. And of course, it's said to be highly contagious, as contagious as measles. Mm -hmm. What are ways through which one can pick it? One can pick it through respiratory droplet, droplets, okay? If someone ha who, who is infected coughs or sneezes around you, okay? You, can, you, 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 you would have found out that a lot of people Everybody in China today goes about with a face, yeah. with a face mask. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes about with a face mask, with a surgical face mask. And of course, it has even gone. They are even struggling to actually get more. Okay, because these are things that get easily soaked. You need to replace them. Okay, but what you and I will need to do is how we can stay, how we can keep ourselves from uh, picking up this infection. Because you never can tell. We are not praying that it will get to the shores of our oh, land. Yes, but, okay? we just... but we should just be proactive. Yeah. Put things in measure. I'm happy with the level of preparedness. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with the level of activities. The behavior of activities All that we are beginning deck. to see in Nigeria at the federal level. Mm -hmm. NCDC is doing a marvelous work Even at, at state level. Mm -hmm. Lagos State Government is on top of the game. Okay? We're going to see a video clip from Lagos State Government in the course of the, pro in the, course of the program. Okay, so that we can know how to identify this. Now, okay. what are the signs and symptoms of this coronavirus, uh, coronavirus the new coronavirus? Mm -hmm. Talking about NCOV 2019 coronavirus. Number one, someone who has it may be presenting with runny nose. There may be fever. There may be um, breathing abnormalities or breathing difficulties. Okay, when it affects the lower respiratory tract, it can cause viral pneumonia. That was actually what started off 
what started off uh, um, the suspicion. They discovered that a lot of people in Wuhan were coming down with a form of pneumonia that has not been seen before, that was not responding to any form of treatment. Okay, so they were startled. What is it all about? Okay, that was how uh, the discovery came about. And of course, the notification came on the 30th mm. of December, 2019. And ever since then, 12, 000, about 12,000 people have been affected. Precisely, 11,953 people have been affected across the globe, causing okay. about 259 deaths. We'll go on, on a little break shortly. Thank okay. you very much. We have to go on this break. Most definitely, we will be right back. The videos are ready so that we can learn more. Thank we you very to. much. You have to. Man. Health matter na serious matter. Oh. That na why we they always get Dr. Bat Ufe Gunam every Saturday to come teach us and enlighten us on top with health matter. You fit also advertise your product and services on top with show where they help let people. Terms and conditions apply. Shao. Coronaviruses are a family of viruses um, that range from the common cold to MERS coronavirus, which is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, and SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus. Coronaviruses are circulating in animals, and some of these coronaviruses have the capability of transmitting between animals and humans. We call that a spillover event. Coronaviruses typically cause respiratory symptoms, so uh, we recommend uh, basic hand hygiene such as washing your hands with soap and water and respiratory hygiene uh, such as when you sneeze, sneezing into your elbow. Ways to protect yourself against a potential animal source uh, would be to avoid unnecessary, unprotected contact with live animals um, and to make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly after contact with an animal and also to make sure that your meat is cooked thoroughly before consuming. There are no specific treatments for coronaviruses, but symptoms can be treated. As you welcome back, and we still dwell on coronavirus and uh, our doctor, that is our in-house doctor, mm -hmm. Dr. Bart Dundee, the airport, uh, this is the matter where we uh, Before we go on that break, we've been promising us we'll go play on our two videos. That's uh, the one from the Lagos State uh, Ministry of Health, yes. Vis-a-vis -vis the one we, this one we will see from international, that is Obodo Ibo own. That of the Lagos State will definitely still come your way, so just mm -hmm. give us a few minutes. Uh, while we allow the doctor to still take the floor, uh, doctor, we... Uh, I think, sorry, Chief, I think we should open the phone line oh, yeah? because I'm sure uh, people that are watching of you so you have one or two questions to ask, Doctor. Okay, so guys, uh, feel free to call those numbers. Uh, like, we think they talk now, we think they trend. You don't declare them as a global emergency. You don't hear about them. You get questions. You want to know more. Feel free to call those numbers, 08105434984. And, of course, 08173147584. Is now please turn down your TV volume before you call so I can take as many calls as we can on the show this morning. Thank you very much. Okay, so Doctor mm -hmm. uh, Shapali, make I quickly ask you about this uh, face mask. Uh, is it the same uh, kind of face masks we get to see even here because uh, mm -hmm. some Okada people they wear Okada uh, cleaners. cleaners. <laughs> bless you, bless Excuse me. You. Excuse Thank me. you very much. <laughs> I, I, <sorry>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was reflex. That was reflex. Chief, Dr. Pizzo. No, but at least he showed his yeah, elbow. No, 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 no. He's into the elbow. No, no, no. I'm not shaking you again. I am not shaking you again. I don't have any notes. Excuse me, it's just normal. So, Dr. Bart, please, can you dwell extensively on the face mask? Yes, 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 yes. So, before I go to the face mask, I want to quickly point out that that is how easily this infection can be transmitted from one individual to another, person-to-person wow. -person transmission. In fact, the first known case after the Chinese uh, uh, cases were, was in Vietnam, where a father was said to have passed it to his son, okay, mm. in Vietnam. And of course, Vietnam has how many now? Okay, so we'll read out some of the... Vietnam has about five cases 
at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have about five cases at the moment. Then talking about face mask, mm -hmm. I want to point out something here. Now, the type of face mask that most people are using are called surgical face mask. Surgical. Okay, we've been using face mask in this part of the world. No, if it's you go really to, greenish in color. Yes, yes. If you go to uh, 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 tertiary hospital centers where they have a... Uh, uh, treatment facilities for tuberculosis. Mm. It's a common sight. If, mm. you also, if you've also seen somebody who, ha who has undergone any form of transplantation, especially mm. renal transplant, you always see them uh, putting on such face mask. Now, the face mask will do a number of things. Okay. An infected person, if an infected person wears a face mask, mm. it prevents the person from coughing and sneezing into the open air. Okay, okay because these diseases we have said that uh, this, this coronavirus airborne. is airborne, just like measles, just like tuberculosis. Mm. So when you sneeze and cough into the air, okay, you release the pathogens. Oh, Good morning, Mr. To, Wallaby. To protect, if a person wants to protect themselves because of the coronavirus, what the something that person can first do? They say something, the person can first watch a hand and swing the and very well. Okay. Is, I, I want to know better because of um, my family and the, my in, my surrounding and the extended family. Thank okay. you very right. much. Thank, Thank you very you much for that. So, mm. so, because of his family. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, prevention yeah. is important. Now, what we need to do at all times, okay, we, we need to start changing our orientation, mm. okay? Now I, I was I was, I was uh, on a, on a personal at a personal level I was trying to uh, think about some possibilities that could happen. I see us avoiding hand checks in this country. Should this thing hit our shores, hmm. okay? Because that is one of the ways that we, we saw can that easily, Ebola, sir. yes that can easily uh, pass it across. Mm -hmm. Just like during the, uh, thank you for reminding me the pattern of greeting mm -hmm. was like this. Mm -hmm. Even in churches, yeah. okay. Uh, the usual interaction that has to do mm. with handshake was stopped. After someone. <laughs> After someone. Ah, so what you can do to prevent yourself from picking it, number one, you should keep away from sick people because you don't know what the person has. Don't forget we are talking about coronavirus. Lassa fever is still dealing yes, with us. Yes, so doctor, we actually took we have we, we saw the last, uh, the, 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 the worst crazy. ever week of Lassa fever uh, disease in Nigeria recently in this year. Okay, so these are diseases that can be transmitted from one person to the other. Okay, so we must develop the culture of keeping good hand hygiene. Wash your hands under regularly water. at all times. You had her under running, running water. water. We, soap. Water inside. Mm -hmm. we soap for at least 20 seconds. Yeah. In situations okay. where you are unable to seconds. do so, mm -hmm. you can use Alcohol based sanitizers. To sanit can you move? No, alcohol based, <laughs> no, alcohol -based sanitizers. Like okay. And, and, they, and they smell nice. Stuff, you yeah. can put them in your pocket, mm -hmm. you can put them in your Very handbag, handy. bring them out, use them to, of course, sterilize your hand. Back. Olabi is calling back. Olabi? Hello? Yeah. Okay, Welcome back, sir. <laughs> What's the advice that you can share to all the Nigeria for the protection they are said because of the Corona? Uh, that is all we are dealing with. That Thank you very much, sir, for calling back. So we, we should wash our hands at all That's times. Right. Mm -hmm. Under running water. Under running water. Mm -hmm. Apart from washing our hands, I said we should keep away from people who sick are people. sick. And any sick person Actually. around you, mm -hmm. you must notify, you must ensure that the person presents in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are, uh, 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 people shouldn't be dwelling uh, uh, on self-medication anymore with what we are seeing of this uh, set of diseases. Once you're sick, mm -hmm. You should go wow. and see your doctor. is important. Apart from wa washing one's hand, we should also stop the habit of picking our nose, mm. picking our eyes, picking our mouth. Vivian, Vivian, yeah. no, the one shouting, Vivian, Vivian. Vivian. Oh. eyes. Can hear? No, don't call anybody. With no, that's our, that's yes. <laughs> yes, yes. With unwashed hands is a dangerous thing to do now. With what yes. we are seeing. Okay, so apart from hand that, hand you should hand. avoid Gee, having. Mm. Apart from that, you should have avoid having unprotected contact with livestock, with animals, mm. Mm. okay, with rodents, 
as much so as possible. So people will go there, say bat is sweet, pass mm. a cow, now bat they <laughs> want to. <laughs> as, as a matter bad. of fact, it is believed that this new coronavirus virus must have emanated from bats. That's, yes, I saw mm. that. Okay? They, they were, they, uh, initially, they said possibility of snake, but I think most, scho most scholars and most researchers favor bat now. We have Ola from Bauchi. Mr. Ola, good morning. Good morning, Ola. Hello, good morning. How are you yeah, doing? Good morning, my brother. Uh, but turn down the turn volume down of your, your TV, volume. says. Ola, do you have to help us turn the volume down? Good morning. Sir. Good morning. Good morning, Ola. How's everything, sir? Everything is fine. Do you have question or contributions, please? Yes, I have a uh, question, sir. Go, go ahead. ahead. Pertaining this uh, coronavirus of eighteen. Please go ahead. Please, uh, you know, here in North, you discover there are some of these uh, less privileged uh, children. So, is it possible for them to get it, as in to get in contact with the virus easily? Because you see, some of them, you know, they, they kind of, they are not well uh, dressed. Many of them didn't take their bath as usual, you know, but they don't have good uh, hygiene. Hygiene. Kind of, Sanitation. I don't know how to put it. What are, my main question is just that. That those kind of children, if government can help, you know, in kind of putting them in a one side, in a place, you know, why are they being taking good care of them? Because I think even from them, one can easily get in contact with some of these uh, diseases of eating. Yes, so I, I agree with you. Too. Help us and, you know, hello? Yes, yes. Where are we too, sir? Hello? Yeah, yeah where are yeah, we too, sir? Got you. We, we are with you. We heard what you said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So he has made a very uh, 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 important point there, okay, because areas where you have people uh, being accommodated in, in close settings, it is easier for okay. this type of yeah. illness to be trans, uh, mm -hmm. transmitted from one person to the other. And you have that in a number of uh, camps, okay. Don't forget, a whole lot of things actually do happen in such camps. Number one, a good number of them are not well fed. Mm -mm. Sometimes malnourishment can set in. We may have children there who may come down with all forms of uh, uh, illnesses like Pachoko. Don't forget we said at the uh, uh, we said as sometime last week that coronaviruses usually thrive. This infection usually, this disease usually mm. thrive in people who do not have robust immunity. Mm. People whose immunity are not optimal, especially people who have comorbidities like... Uh, uh, HIV, HIV, AIDS, yeah. some form of cancers, some form of heart conditions. Okay, people who are vulnerable are this set of people. Okay, and people, of course, people who are malnourished too yeah. could also be vulnerable. Okay, they could easily pick up this infection. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also said that it affects certain category of age group, higher age group for now. Okay, but I think we have seen a case, a case, a case was seen in a child recently. Uh, I will talk about that in the course of the program. Okay. So back to the prevention that uh, uh, someone know. asked before. Okay, so we should also develop the habit of covering our mouth, our nose and our mouth when we sneeze. So when you we cough. talked about that type of face mask. I'm sorry to. Yes, you, sir. the face mask that that you can see. A whole lot of people using in China and a number of other places. We we're talking about it before the question came in. Yeah, yeah, there are different types of face masks, face mask that one can use. Okay, so there are some that can have Maimona. We'll come back to that. Sir. Good, morning, Maimona. Maimona. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How is Kaduna today? Kaduna is fine, thank okay. you. Okay, our doctor is here. Go ahead with your question, please. Please, um. I want to ask for uh, based on the protection for our young children that goes to school. Please, what is the measure we're supposed to take as parents? Okay, thank you very the much, Mona, for that question. Mm -hmm. Now, the measures right. we can take for our children that go, that go to school. Number one, we should discourage our children that go to school from sharing cups, mm -hmm. sharing food flasks, sharing uh, what, what do they call this one? The one yeah. they using well, water bottles. Water bottles. Water bottles. Yes, and uh, some other cutleries, yes, uh, they shouldn't share that for any reason. Now, the teachers should also ensure 
that these children do not share stuff like that among each other because you can easily pass. Another thing they could also do for, for, for this will concern the school authorities now. If you identify any child that is sick, please such a person should stay at home. Of sure. course, it is a normal thing. We've been seeing it in time past. If you identify any child who is coughing and sneezing profusely, mm. okay, for some few days, such a person should actually be sent home so that the person can go and get properly treated. Mm. You can imagine where, of course, he gets into such a school environment and a child is playing alongside other kids and sneezes. And of, you can just not imagine what can happen in such situation. Mm. Okay, and even so, at the school, I think they can always encourage them to wash their hands. I know doing we saw that, that we saw that. Hand, hand washing. Yeah. Sanitizer should be provided in schools yeah. so that even if they can't lay hands on water, they can. And of course, they, mm. sh they should be taught the culture of washing their hands mm -hmm. at all Regularly. times. Always, you see children, mm -hmm. usually when they go on research, they go with their food mm -hmm. to go and eat. And you see a lot of them trying to eat even without washing yeah. hands. So a lot, a, a, a lot of responsibility will fall back on the school authorities. Yeah. But she just asked a very good question. Yeah. And we're putting everything into perspective, not just what... Uh, the government can do for us, what we can do as to protect ourselves as individuals is equally as important. Because mm. I have come to notice that you doctors, like all doctor friends I have anyway, once they touch a, just a patient. We are always, yeah. <laughs> I don't even wear gloves. I was like, are, you, are, treat, are we irritating you? I don't think I, they've as ever as been that careless. As a matter of fact, it's ideal for every consulting room to have a running water exactly. where mm. you can wash your hand. Before now, we used to use keep a, a towel close mm. by, yes, but not yes. anymore. So what yes. is advice now is tissue. Mm. So that once you wash your hand and you wipe it, you throw it away, you trash it, 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 so you don't use common. And you also, you, sh you shouldn't be using tablet soap mm. in such places. Wow. Okay. Now, there's some... Uh, gel, uh, gel-like. Yes. Apart from that, there's, there's some non-contact soap that you can actually fix, that, that are powered by battery. That, of course, when your hand comes... Touch it comes under the sensor, it drops the gel. So you don't even need hospital. to yes, yeah, you don't no, even need mm. to contaminate the tap by touching on it before you start washing your hand. Yes, okay, so a drop. whole lot. Even when you want to dry, you just put it. Another like thing it. we should ensure that we do is to cook our food properly. Well cook mm. our food is important to we, we do that. We should clean and disinfect our environment. Mm. Sanitation is key. key. Personal we hygiene is key. Community hygiene is key. key. Okay, if we must stay away from, if, if, we, if we must stay protected from this infectious disease that we are talking about, we are looking at all disease mm. holistically, not just coronavirus, mm -hmm. because we don't presently have it. But the one we have in Nigeria today, what are Lassa. we doing? Lassa fever, what are we doing to stay protected? Sir, so I, I, okay, we have Mrs. Ola. Good morning, Mrs. Ola. Good morning, Mrs. Ola. <laughs> How are you doing, Mrs. Ola? You have to turn down the volume on your TV set. You are live. So go ahead. Mrs. Zola? Hello? Are you there? I think she's gone. Mm. Oh. So coming back to the glove, the surgical ma uh, to mask. the mask, I beg your pardon. This the, the mask that we usually the first mask that you see people wearing, it prevents them from sneezing into the air, it prevents them from coughing into the air. Okay, so that you can imagine no, no, no. Yeah, you can imagine if someone does not have it and the person sneezes. Of course, those droplets will go very mm. far. And what you need to pick it up is to inhale what mm. has been exposed or what mm. has been thrown. <laughs> Okay, Nelson. Nelson from FCT. Good morning, Nelson. Oh, yeah. Wow, we lost that again. So are you are you trying to say that it's still sorry the about same? that? I, I I wanted to I wanted to something entered my mind as we were talking. When we were in secondary school, when you sneeze indiscriminately, we say one million bacteria. Say you've rendered one, one million, million bacteria, bacteria, bacteria homeless. homeless. <laughs> eh? Now that statement is apt at this moment. Mm. Wow. Anytime you sneeze or cough, you truly have <laughs> rendered a Wait, lot, of, take play that a lot of pathogens <laughs> homeless. <in> reality. <laughs> and of course, anybody who stays around you while you do that can easily pick up the infection. Now, the mask too, there are some that healthcare workers should use, not the conventional one. Of course, healthcare workers who are taking care, if you discover the pictures of the doctors and nurses that we are seeing from China, they are not using the same type of face mask. Mm like the pop population are using. Yeah. Okay, there are some of them who have a valve. They're called respirator face mask. Mm. Respirator face mask. N95 respirator face mask. Usually you have about 15 in a pack. They're a little bit uh, more expensive. That is the ideal that health workers should use to care for those people. Not just face mask. We should do the full 
uh, 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 we should do the full PPE, personal protective equipment. You should have your head covered, you should have your eyes covered with goggles, and then the face mask, and then the gown. Wow. It, uh, it, 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 it's called, uh, um, I think there's a name for it. Okay, so that is what we should be preparing, not just when it, it, it hits our shores. Okay, Faith, good morning. Good morning, Hello, Faith. Good morning. Yeah, How are you morning. doing? I know. Okay. Now, well done. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. I beg, I get a question for Dr. Basu. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, I have this, um, they call it, um, I don't know what to call it. I have this burning sensation in my throat, and I, I feel like there's a lump in my throat or something. So I don't know what I can use. So you get burning sensation for uh, truth. You can be like, say, you get lumps in the truth. I don't understand. Do you say lumps? Yeah, like no. there's a blockage. Blockage. Okay, blockage. Uh, Faith, thank you for your question. I, uh, what you should do is to go and see a doctor. You will need, a prop you need to be properly evaluated. Okay, because some of the presenting symptoms that we're talking about that can occur in some of these diseases that we're talking about today, coronavirus, even Lassa fever, so throat is equally there, okay, but I'm not saying that is what you have, don't, don't get me wrong, but if you have a problem that has stayed for some days, if it's not going, please ensure that you go and see your doctor for proper uh, ev evaluation and treatment. Thank you very much. Okay, Dr. Mm. Ba, this last question I want to ask mm. before we go. Our people now, you know, say we, we get this culture of oh, doing things. I think you still have plenty of time. Okay, uh, our people now, we, they, we don't have plenty they, of time. We don't. Yeah. Uh, it's very funny. Is it okay now for us to say everybody now, start wearing face masks or would you class that as being, uh, is that panic? Or? No, it, it, we don't have to create panic. Hey. What, what I think we should do, I have advice. Uh, uh, we're concluding now. I trust now. our people. My, my advice, go and buy. Yes, my uh, advice, my, my advice for, for, <laughs> for Nigerians, for um, hospitals generally is that, we shouldn't wait until this thing hits our shores to get prepared. Hmm. Between you and I, most people who present in a private hospital setting, we saw that with Ebola. Hmm. Every hospital should start now to acquire private uh, PPE. Okay? Hmm. And I think it would be nice to have that video from Lagos State Government okay. before we Let's go. Can okay. we still squeeze it in? Please, okay. let's have it. Hello, Lagosians. My name is Aki Ambayomi. I'm the Commissioner of Health for Lagos. I'm here to tell you about this new infection that's going around the world. It's called the coronavirus. It emanated in China. It came from the animal kingdom. It has affected 17 countries. About 4,590 patients have been affected with about 106 deaths to date. It has typical symptoms, headache, running nose, cough, sore throat, muscle ache, high fever, difficulty breathing, pneumonia perhaps, and if you feel that you are experiencing any of these symptoms and you've had a contact either by virtue of travel to Southeast Asia or people that have come from Southeast Asia, we would like you to present to one of our general hospitals. Here in Lagos, we're ramping up our capacity. Our general hospitals are getting more in tune with this situation. We're increasing our surveillance at the airports. We're building our emergency operations center where we can harmonize our response to this infection. Please, Lagosians, take this situation seriously and contact any of the numbers that we're going to display on the screen for you. This message is from the Lagos State Ministry of Health. So thank you very much. Credit to WHO, credit to Lagos State Government, Honorable Commissioner of Health. Wonderful day. We thank you. Okay, so like what I said at the, uh, uh, when I was concluding, Please, hospitals should start now to equip private mm. hospitals. I'm not talking about just government. Start now to equip your centers. Because when this, when this thing starts coming, private hospitals will be first spot of call. Mm. On that note, we'll be ending today's okay. series. We'll see you again next week. So thank, thank you very much. One to two. two on top five. Are we expecting any guests? No. Okay. We're doing old school. Old school. Throwback. Hey. You know?